Um, we have uh, three elevating devices, uh, heavy fire uh, and smoke conditions uh, throughout this building. Uh, this building is under renovation and goes very deep back towards Bay Street uh, into a laneway. Uh, crews have been inside uh, and uh, we just ended up uh, pulling crews off the roof. Uh, flames are starting to breach the roof right now. Uh, we have a third alarm fire right now. Uh, the firefighters are doing an absolutely outstanding job. Uh, this really shows uh, some of the challenges we have here in downtown Toronto with the proximity of the buildings, as you can see. So uh, we're in for a long night. Uh, the, uh, as I said, the crews are doing a, a, a fantastic work right now. Uh, three elevating devices. Uh, I'm on scene right now with a number of senior officers. Uh, and, um, you know, we are in for a long haul tonight. But uh, right now they have it contained to the building. Uh, they've been able to prevent it from spreading both south and north of the building and right now that is our primary goal right now is to make sure that the, uh, we contain the fire to this building and it doesn't spread any further. Unoccupied uh, injuries this time? Uh, no report of injuries. Uh, I've, uh, I have just arrived on scene about 20 minutes ago. Uh, to the best of my knowledge it's unoccupied and as you can see, see uh, we're still engaged in heavy uh, interior and exterior firefighting operations right now. As far as evacuations go, just the adjacent buildings? Just the adjacent buildings. We actually have a TTC bus here on site for those uh, individuals that were affected. Uh, heavy smoke conditions, uh, no one uh, was in danger. Uh, Toronto Police uh, did an excellent job of evacuating both north and south of the building. And, and right now I'm happy to report we have no report of injuries of civilians or firefighters at this time.